So there are plenty of reasons why you shouldn't play games on Stadia, why it's better to play on local hardware like Xbox One, PlayStation, or PC. The fact of the matter is that it's just not reliable to run games on Stadia right now due to the flaws of streaming technology that results in stutters and input lag and the like. But on top of that, Stadia promised that with its raw graphical power from the Google servers, its performance and graphics would generally be better than what you'd find on Xbox and PlayStation and your average PC. But that promise they have fallen short on and it isn't the only promise that they've underdelivered. I've talked about a number of such cases in previous videos, and now we're seeing that Doom Eternal is facing a similar struggle of not meeting the true 4K sort of baseline that Google Stadia promised for all of its games. The following information was reported by news outlet Eurogamer with an article whose headline reads, no, Doom Eternal is not true 4K on Google Stadia, despite it promising it would be. So this was information relayed here on this post from the Bethesda official website where they talk about console features, breaking down Doom Eternal across all the consoles it'll be available for and the resolution features that will be made available depending on which version you get. So it reads right here that the Xbox One X version of Doom Eternal will upsample to 4K 2160p from 1800p and will run at 60 fps the playstation 4 pro version will upsample to 4k from 1440p at 60 fps and then the less powerful xbox one and xbox one s will run at uh, 1080 60 fps or upsample to 1080 from 900p ps4 will straight up run at 1080 60 fps and finally for stadia it says right here that uh, it will run at 1080p 60fps on HD displays and upsample to 2160p from 1800p at 60fps on 4K displays. So across the board, the game is running at 60 frames per second. And as far as the resolution goes, it really depends. Now Stadia being twice as powerful as Xbox One X, one would expect that it would just run at native 4K, not upscale 4K, but rather true 4k but instead it's matching the same graphical features as xbox one x which doesn't make a lot of sense that's not to say that 1800p upscale to 2160p will look hideous per se but stadia should be able to achieve more it's also another case of stadia false advertising given that during a press conference from months ago it was advertised that doom eternal would in fact run at 4K, true 4K, 60 FPS. And you can actually see that in this video embedded by the uh, Eurogamer article. This is Stadia's GDC 2019 presentation. And you can see right here what the presenter says. To be bringing Doom Eternal to Stadia and are thrilled to announce that the game will be capable of running at true 4K resolution with HDR color at an unrelenting 60 frames per second. Clear as day. True 4K is what was touted here, and yet now we're seeing out of the blue that it's actually not true 4K, but rather 1800p scaled up. And prior to that announcement, here's what the presenter said about Doom Eternal. After all, if you're gonna prove to the world that you can stream games from the cloud, what better proof than Doom? And if you're gonna prove to a developer that you're serious about building a robust platform, what better team than id, where we push every platform to its limit. Push every platform to its limit, he said, and we know that Stadia, as Google has touted time and again, is roughly twice as powerful as Xbox One X with 10.7 GPU teraflops versus Xbox One X's 6.0. There's so much more from a pure numerical standpoint that Stadia should be able to achieve, and yet time and again, Stadia has fallen short on that promise of 4K. And you can see right here, Phil Harrison, who is sort of the head of Stadia currently, he said, yes, all games at launch support 4K. We designed Stadia to enable 4K 60 with appropriate TV and bandwidth. With. We want all games to play 4K 60, but sometimes for artistic reasons, a game is 4K 30, so Stadia always streams at 4K 60 via 2X and code. This was what was advertised back in October 2019 before the platform's launch. And since launch, all we have seen is cases like Doom Eternal or 
Destiny 2, where it reads right here, Destiny 2, for example, renders at a native 1080p and is then upscaled to improve quality, but never reaches 4K. Destiny 2, of all games, which isn't necessarily the most graphically intensive title, with 10.7 teraflops, Stadia should be able to run that at true 4K, but for some reason is unable to achieve that. And then we have Red Dead Redemption 2, which on Stadia renders at 1080p or 1440p, depending on what data rate you're using, and is then upscaled to 4K on a Chromecast Ultra. Essentially, Stadia's 4K mode is actually processing fewer pixels than PS4 Pro on its biggest port, whereas the Xbox One X version, I believe, does in fact run at true 4K for a Red Dead Redemption 2. So the Stadia version, despite the hardware being twice as powerful is actually inferior to Xbox One X. And much like with Doom Eternal, it was advertised with Red Dead Redemption 2 that it would run at 4K 60fps. Here's a tweet that was deleted since its posting. It reads, don't have a PC capable of running the highest settings. With Stadia, you don't need to. Play Red Dead Redemption 2 on Stadia to see every glorious detail in 4K 60fps. We all know now that certainly didn't pan out. And then Final Fantasy 15 on Stadia is pretty pathetic, running at 1080p 30fps, which is actually more in line with the base PlayStation 4, not even PlayStation 4 Pro, base PlayStation 4. And sure, one could make the argument that it's ultimately up to developers to optimize the games to run at 4K or whatever, but it would seem as though developers are consistently unable to render their games at full 4K on Stadia, and I'm thinking there's got to be a reason, and I'm not sure if the Stadia hardware is just hard to optimize for or what's going on here, but the fact remains that Stadia was marketed a certain way. It is selling 4K as a feature for $10 a month with the Pro subscription, so Stadia owes 4K to its players. So that's what makes this such a bad look. The fact that 4K was so heavily emphasized in Stadia's marketing and the fact that it is a feature people are paying for and not getting. And then for games that do run at 4K like Metro Exodus, it just doesn't run as well as the Xbox One X version as reported by Eurogamer here. Not to mention that because of the artifacting and compression that comes with streaming, the game generally does look worse on Stadia despite it running the same resolution as Xbox One X. And then when you factor that in with the fact that occasionally you might see input lag or stutters and buffering, that all creates what is ultimately an inferior experience to getting the game on Xbox One X and probably getting it cheaper too, given that uh, Stadia sells a lot of old games at full price, whereas uh, a lot of the uh, local hardware platforms they tend to have discounted prices at this point for those games. And then there are also bizarre cases like this where a game like Borderlands 3 did eventually come out on Stadia, but it happened to be a two months old version of the game that still had a lot of bugs and was lacking in certain features and content that was added later in the game's life cycle. So just all around, it seems like with Stadia, you're always getting an inferior version of the game, whether it's graphically speaking or features. And now with Doom Eternal, this whole situation gets quite a bit more embarrassing, especially given that Doom Eternal was a marquee highlight of Stadia's GDC presentation, and they explicitly say true 4K. Those words are explicitly spoken, and yet the game does not deliver on that. And what does that say about this platform that has consistently broken promises? What does that say about its ability to deliver on future promises? and actually be the so-called future of gaming that Google is touting it to be. It just doesn't inspire confidence, does it? Stadia really needs to stop selling 4K as a feature. 4K should just be something anyone who uses Stadia gets, given their inability to deliver on that feature. It's ludicrous enough that Stadia is even charging money for something as basic as 4K resolution, but the fact that when they're charging money for it, it doesn't even work. I mean, that's when things really become embarrassing, and that's when 
this uh, starts uh, reaching the region of false advertising or misleading customers. I don't think Doom Eternal will look hideous on Stadia per se, just because it's an upscaled 1800p rather than a true 4K, but it's a matter of principle to correctly market what you're selling, and Google Stadia has not been doing that. Doom Eternal is also one of those high reflex games where a reliable performance is paramount, and Stadia has proven that for a lot of households and internet plans, Stadia might experience input lag or stutters that are not viable for a game like this. You're just not gonna have the best Doom Eternal experience on Stadia, so it's probably best if you get it on PC or PlayStation or Xbox, where you know that a shoddy internet connection won't suddenly interrupt your gameplay or make you lose access to the game in its entirety or cause stutters that may interfere with your ability to slay demons without compromise. Stadia streaming performance right now is just too hit or miss for me to be able to say, yeah, spend full price $60 on this game that will run far better on these other local hardware platforms. If Stadia had this Netflix of games type of model where you pay a small monthly fee and gain a whole library of games, then I would say, okay, the drawbacks are there, but you are you know, only paying this amount per month. But the fact that Stadia has this business model of pay full price for games for access to them uh, and with all of the uh, potential technical issues that may come your way depending on your internet connection and where you live, it's just hard to recommend the Stadia version of Doom Eternal. And now with Stadia not really running at true 4K, there is even less incentive to get the title on this platform now. So yeah, another day, another blunder from Stadia. This is certainly not going to do well for the already poor optics surrounding the platform. But this is all you need to know about the situation. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Doom Eternal not being true 4K, despite the presenters during the GDC 2019 Stadia press conference having explicitly said true 4K for Doom Eternal. Drop a comment below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.